Okay, ready, steady. Vanessa's career started with humble beginnings. We built our business with selling one inch buttons wow. <laughs> at local coffee shops. Little by little and one stitch at a time. Vanessa Andrew was able to build a boutique clothing store dedicated to saving the environment. Why not take something that looks like garbage to people and make it into something that I can sell or, or add value to? She opened Madame Chino in 2003. She focuses on upcycling and reusing clothes to keep them out of landfills. This is the chain stitcher. It's a 1930s machine. She's located in West Dallas on Lincoln Avenue. So these are some examples of pieces that I've I've done here. I've got a few. These are wool scraps that were donated to me. They're super one of a kind. Another cool thing about a store like this is you're going to come in and find clothes you wouldn't normally expect to try on. Like this is a pretty bold outfit, but I got to say I'm killing it in this. Normally those clothes I had on would be in the trash, but Andrew gave them a second life. In 2018, 11.3 million tons of textiles went to landfills, which is 7.7% of all waste, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. What's more, 50 billion garments are thrown away within one year of being fabricated, according to the U.S. Department of Commerce. I've taken a few back-end tours of Goodwill and seen the amount, the massive amount of uh, things that we throw away in our culture and just don't even think twice about. She also does alterations to make clothes last longer and hosts sewing classes so others can be self-sufficient. I just think it's important to put the power back in the people's hands, right? You're not relying on styles, trends, you know, funneling your money up into some guy's hand, big pockets or whatever. While saving the environment is a big task, we can take small steps like repurposing old clothes to make a difference. In West Dallas, James Grow, TMJ4 News.